Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing numeric data. This is standard 6.12c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the prices of watches at a store, and we've got anywhere from 15 to 27, but sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes it's a little bit lower. These watches are not listed in any particular order, and we need to find the median price. And we don't have A, B, C, or D to choose from, because we need to fill in our answers into the bubble sheet. So first, we need to figure out what this means. When I'm thinking of a median, think about a highway that's got at least two directions going, two lanes in one direction, and then two lanes in another direction. And sometimes what you will get is you will get a concrete strip, something in the middle, maybe with some trees, maybe with some grass. This is your median, and it is meant to divide the lanes of traffic that are going in opposite ways because it is right in the middle of the street. You see medians on busy streets, and that's what the median is when we're looking at summarizing data. It's the middle. So what we need to do is we need to take this data and we need to put it in order from greatest to least or from least to greatest. I typically like to go from least to greatest, but you can actually do it both ways. So let's just start with our smallest number here, and I'm just going to kind of cross them out as I see them. So I see 12, 15. I want to make sure we're not missing anything. I see two 16s. We're going to list them each separately here. Looks like that's all in the teens. So now we need to get into the 20s. I see 20, 22, 23, 24 and 27. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of data. Let's just make sure I've got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're good. So how do we split eight in half? Well, right down the middle, we're going to put four on this side, and we're going to put four on this side. So our median is represented by this line right here. Now, since this is an even-numbered data set, there is no odd number that's right in the middle. If you ever get a data set that's odd, then you will actually get one number sitting right in the middle. But this data set is split evenly with four on either side of our midpoint. So we actually need to see what is the midpoint between this 16 and this 17. And the crazy thing about it is, is our median is actually not going to be one of the numbers in this data set. Take a look at what we're doing here. Let's just zoom into 16, put this on a number line here, and 20. So these are the two numbers that are on either side of our median. We need to go straight in the middle of that. And what number is in between 16 and 20? That is going to be 18. So you can actually have a median that is not even in your data set if it falls between the two numbers on either side of the median and it is the exact middle. So once again, we've got 16 and 20 on either side of our median line and 18 comes right in between those two. But we're not done yet because now we have to fill in our bubble sheet. And if you look on a sixth grade answer document, the top part is going to look like this. Now, you're going to have all your circles down underneath. But really, what we're looking for is this top part, and that's going to give us a little bit of information here. So you're going to get this double line right over here towards the right, and it's got a decimal point in there, and there's no bubbles underneath, so you can't bubble in anything underneath that. Then you're going to get two spots to the right of that, so that's your tenths and that's your hundredths. Then you're going to get four spots to the left of that decimal point, and that's your ones, your tens, your hundreds, and your thousands. Our answer is 18, so let's just make sure we bubble this in correctly. And that is our answer, 18.